Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nefo29 and here's what's in our backpack. We are underweight. Uh, what do we got? Well, we got some birch bark we can craft up. We need another bandage. Clothing's kind of taken a beating, but I don't want to touch the leather items. We got a little bit of food. We got some water. We have a deer to go look for, don't we? Hopefully it's clear out. And there's what we got there. We are day 13. And here's our skills. Wow, some of them. Look at cooking. Cooking's up in the three. Mending's coming along. And we are early morning. So we got... Well, I can read for an hour. What book do I have? I don't have a book. I want... I don't really want one of the bow books. I guess I'll take it. There we go. And the water is boiled. Take that. And nine minutes. Okay. Uh, five hours out of four researched. <laughs> do they all do that? Interesting. And I, honestly, I dropped this one over in this corner. I don't know why it ended up way over there. Uh, what do we got? We have a bunch of cured birch. Let's do that. We have a cured maple. Just one. Um, I think let's make some arrow shafts. And I didn't count how many I actually can make. I got to check as well. I didn't notice if I had two knives. I remember this one's 43. I think I do have another knife. A, good, a better one. I betcha. Yeah, 43 and 87. Uh, let's go with that. How many more can I make? Just three more. Okay. That's good. There we go. Uh, oh, I don't have my feathers on me. I am going to take the feathers. There we go. I don't like making arrows with the blue blocks, but what are you going to do, right? It's the only one we got. All right, let's uh, eat this meat. We got to go find that deer. Or hope that we can find it. It's got to be clear out. I hope it's clear. All right, let's go. So we have a revolver and we have a bow with one arrow. And a whole bunch of arrow shafts. And, oh, good, 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 good. What the hell? Let's take them all. Well, I wouldn't call this clear, but. Hopefully we can find that deer. If not, we might have to go after another one. Don't have any back there. Yeah, I'm really liking this headset, actually. I, I won't lie. I know I, I, I 
kind of complained that the power button is a push and hold and that it takes longer than what my steel my steel series headset took but I can actually hear myself talking and I couldn't do that with my other headset oh no no I'm gonna see if there's more feathers. I think the weather's gonna turn. No, 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 no feathers. Oh. Go this way. Let's check if there's any feathers over here. Happy ears, yes. Yes, goodbye, Steel Series. I'm disappointed in that headset, I'll tell you. Like, I, I already explained, right? Like, I, I never mistreated it. They sounded good. They were really good sounding. You know what? I'm not going to waste. I'm going to use a bow or a, a, a gun. Because I only have one arrow, I don't want him to run off. But yeah, that, that headset, the sound in it was really good. It just... I mean, I don't know, maybe it's me. Two hours or two years. Is that a good lifespan? When my cheap original PlayStation ones lasted like four and a half years. the wind oh man and I forgot to drop the knife well why don't I use crappy knife I guess if I'm carrying it I may as well use it make it even more crappy um I gotta make sure I know where I'm going. Alright. I think we're going that way. Is there any chance... This Do I not get a wind block? Alright, let's make a fire right here. I guess I need to light the torch for... Oh, it's too windy? Uh, yeah, we'll go with the book. 95%. Come on, little fire. Merd started his cheese on his stock around 45 minutes running, uh, getting from the airfield to Pleasant Valley and then made many campfires writing fire starter. <laughs> uh, cool. Is that going to be enough? Oh, yeah. Uh, can I heat up? Let's heat that up. Uh, where is it? Writing fire starter, lol. At 73% complete, and fishing at Pensive Pond and have had many blizzards now at 75%. Been stuck at 64 and 66 for ages. <laughs> and you're, you're going for the blizzard walker run, right? In that? I probably shouldn't have drank one of those. Don't drink the mushroom tea, dude. Don't drink the mushroom tea. Um, I don't trust that this fire is going to stay lit. So I am going to take five. Uh, 
Oh, you're going for yeah, yeah. You're going for fire starting and blizzard. I told you how I got the fire starting one, right? Now I just basically. Hey, we're warm right here. I just basically took all my fire strikers to Timberwolf Mountain. <laughs> And I just made a fire that would last for, like, the duration of one stick. And I had a bunch of fires in a circle. And I just worked my way around. Until finally I got enough of the fires. I need you. I don't really need the guts, but I'm going to take them. We gotta go. Um, I think we'll go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna head to the camp office. Oh, do I want to? Where's all the? F I guess there won't be feathers. Well, there is one feather. I don't know how you got here. Ain't hey, no crows. Uh, let's. Eat some cooked meat. <laughs> and let's drink some water. Help the weight out a little bit. Sure getting cold. Yeah, I think with this weather, I'm just better off to go right back to the uh, trapper's cabin. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Ooh, I can gain temperature here. That's all right. Where am I? Why am I semi lost? Is that the rock I'm supposed to go around? No. This don't look right. I think I'm going that way. That's where I gotta go. Can we run? No. Oh, that's the rock. Right there. Hey. This guy better not run off with my arrow. I will not be happy. Oh, and we got another one. Oh, luckily he's not coming towards us. you bud kinda I guess we'll we'll just go back to the trapper's cabin we'll uh, craft up the birch bark we'll drop off that that bad knife and I guess we'll just read whilst we cook yeah we're having a, a wolf escort that's what we're having right now. Alright. I like this little downhill slope because when you're heavy it makes it... Gives you a little bit of a moment to feel like you're moving at a proper speed again. Well, it isn't a full-blown blizzard yet. Which is also a good thing. I would really like some more sewing books. I mean, the bow books are good. Don't get me wrong. I definitely don't mind having them. But early game, I just really would like sewing books. I don't want to risk uh, 
trying to repair a leather item and failing. to drop some of that meat heavy to carry. outside. I just didn't want to do it while he was tailing us. Alright, we're gonna do that. And... I don't know if I want to do this. I think I want to just cook without a pot. Is what I want to do. And I want to use my crappy. You're down to 60 now. Hey Jill, welcome in. How you doing bud? Go with that. Yeah, I want to I wanna cook without the pot or the skillet because then I can probably get an hour of reading. Come on, little fire. For each piece that I'm cooking. Whereas I don't really know if I'm using them. I mean, that's 51 minutes, so uh, reclaim wood right there. Do that and start reading. Man, I love that it's only four hours. Like way better than five. I need more sticks. How many how many pieces of meat do I have? I probably have a quite a bit, right? Six. Yeah. So that's like three hours for a fire. I don't know how many sticks I need. I couldn't stop myself there. <laughs> right, let's do that. And make sure you're not... Okay. 43, that's fine. We'll be okay, I think. Another book. Let's uh, go over here and drop it. And we'll take the other bow book. And a drink. Gotta make sure I don't forget to drink. That's one hour. That's two hours. I kind of forgot I already had meat on there. Do that. That's good enough. Oh, wow. Look at the time. Well, uh, I guess we have enough alertness. I guess. Oh, man. Well, y'all can cook overnight. Uh, let's eat this one. I'm going to take a few of them outside. Give the dark. Oh, and I have to drop. I forgot. I'm going to drop the hide too. Alright, let's do that. 
And let's go drop some meat. Hey, OG. Welcome in, bud. How you doing? There we go. All right, that, mook, that meat can cook while we're sleeping. Uh, let's just double check. You're 39. Now you're 48. That's good. All right, and let's drink. Oh, man, I wouldn't mind having some water on there either. Oh, well. Do that. Yeah, I know, right? Two days of food. <laughs> wow. Hey, we timed that perfectly. That worked out well. And I don't know if that deer would be even out there. Oh, dude, drop the knife. Drop the knife. I'm keeping this on me because I have that. And let's go. Oh, it's a beautiful day, except it's cold. You're good just waiting to take your meds so you can start your day. That's the first thing I do when I wake up. Whatever time I wake up. Because I've tried it where I take them at 7. But if I wake up at 6 and don't take them, I forget. <laughs> oh, it's brisk. Um, I'm probably going to regret not taking more meat. We'll see about that. You're fully loaded. Uh, if you just joined us, we ha we do have one arrow again. So in in a panic, the gun will come out and. When we have time, the bow will come out. Oh, I got lucky. That was a bad shot. I thought I hit him right in the top of the bum, but I guess it worked. Do you have alerts on your phone? Yeah, I do as well. Because surprisingly, it's easy to forget to take your meds. Oh man, this is not a good day. There's my sticks to guide us. Let's walk down this path. Oh, is that where the deer was? Wow. That deer, that's why, because I thought the deer was off of the path. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. But he's right on our trail. And he's got an itty bitty piece of meat. So he will stay there for a while. You know, it's probably not a smart idea with, with like edible animals. But I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. You want 
the prey animals to respawn quicker and you want the predators to respawn in a longer period. So leaving the meat on a on a deer is probably not the best thing to do, but oh well, I did it. We got some bear meat that we can't eat. We got another deer. I don't want to take another one down. I would much rather just find the one. Cattails. Oh, you know what? I should take the uh, cattail heads as well. Uh, we're down to five. I'm not seeing. I know they both kind of ran off in that direction, but I mean, that doesn't mean he's out in that direction. He could be off in this direction. Who knows? Who knows where they go after they get shot? Today's word is is that word. <laughs> oh, discombobulate. There we go. I didn't even need the pronunciation for that one. Means to be in a state of confusion, upset, and disorient. Oh, we got another wolf. Look at him just bobbing over those. Let's go, bud. Alright. I'm not shooting him when he's going to run away like that because you know he's just going to keep running away that way and take my arrow. Well, I wonder if we just go up to the lookout. May as well, right? Uh, we should be ready for this. We do have a bar ascent, so... Or do we call that a squiggly ascent? Let's do that. It's now known as a squiggly. I just got rabbits down here. Uh, I'm going to continue grabbing sticks. Oh, and you know what I didn't do? I didn't craft up the birch bark. What's wrong with me? Knife-o-wing knife knife words, yes. Run, little bunny. Be free. One day you will save me. And I will honor you with two sticks. any birch bark crafted and cooked. That is not good. That's not good. Uh, now, do we check the plane crash now? It's minus nine. I don't know what how much the temperature goes up when you get inside of like a, an airplane. I don't know. We're here. We may as well have a look. Come on. Wow. I'm just getting stuck on everything. Uh, 
trying to look for a screenshot there. <laughs> Wasn't gonna happen. Can I get up this? Wow. Alright, let's get in here. Oh, okay, so it goes up. I don't know. It went up like five, but I don't know if that's always the case. <laughs> that was stupid. I don't care who you are. That was stupid. All right, Astrid, don't break your knees. Run. <laughs> hey, I did not click the door. I clicked the floor. Their hitbox is in the wrong area code, zip code, whatever part of the world you're in. Whoever did that is the master of the good enough. It's good enough. They'll figure it out. Anytime somebody says something's good enough, it's not good enough. That person should get fired. I don't mean specifically the hinterland person. I just mean people that love the term good enough. I don't like the term good enough. I like things to be good enough for my personal... Hey. Hey. Yeah. I like things to make me happy. So if you get something from me, it'll be good, good, good edition. Hey, look at you. Uh, what is that skillet? Uh, I didn't want to... oh, oh, it's probably better than the one we have. The one we have is 30. That's 79. And a box. Grumpy knife. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> this felt like talking like coach today. <laughs> Craft that up. And I guess we'll read for an hour. Um, you know, I could. Do I want to? Oh, look at you, Mr. 29% Torch. Like that. We only have two sticks, but that's okay. We're not doing anything. We're just cooking some birch bark tea. Come on, little fire. Come on. Come on, little fire. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. All right. Uh, birch bark. Birch bark. You, I'm not going to leave a skillet out here. I'll leave it at the camp office. And... We'll drink one now. Get a heat buff. Oh, I don't have one of those. Can 
Can you burn out, please? I want that. Oh, are you gonna work? See, now that's a vista. That is a vista. Let's go back in here. I wasted that tea in this. Well, I guess I didn't waste it. But I much would have preferred to have a temperature boost while we were walking. Oh, no. So far, this is your favorite place. There's, it's too out of the way though. Uh, close the door. That's the only problem with it. It's, it's too far out of the way. Uh, well, we need some wood. Oh, I don't have a stick. I burnt my stick, so now if I try to make a fire, I'm going to have to make it with reclaimed wood. And it's not as good of a percentage. I figure if we're going to be trapped here, we may as well make some water. Fifty-five percent. Hey, X. Welcome in. <laughs> oh no, OG broke his streak. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's get some water on there. Actually. I'm gonna put that there. I don't know that I'm necessarily gonna actually put water in it. Alright. We need about that. And let's finish this book. And... Hey! Archery 2! Well, I don't have another book. We don't have a choice. Let's do that. Oh boy, hurry, hurry, hurry. And let's go with you. Man, are we staying the night? And let's do that. Oh man, we have four eleven. We might be walking in the dark. Oh no, I don't have enough. I don't want to use a chunk of coal. Oh, it's not enough. I got to use two. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just do that. 423. Hey, Tonza, welcome in. How you doing? All right. We got another hour. How bad are our clothes? Well, we can tear those down. And uh, we can repair that. How's the run going? It's going. It's 
still going. Oh, do I have... Where's my hatchet? Let's sharpen you up. We can do that. I'll walk back at night. I don't care. I don't really want to spend the night here. I'd rather be somewhere else. And if I'm being honest, I'd actually rather be back at the, uh, the trapper's cabin so I can grab more meat. Okay, now it's too dark. Uh, can't do that because we need the hatchet to do it. Give us an Aurora, at least we can play that funky music. Well, I guess let's just go to bed. Oh, Yex wants coffee time. Okay, just give me a second. Here we go. There we go. Thanks, Yax. That was delicious. And I didn't choke. That might be a good thing or it might be a bad thing, depending on what kind of person people are. <laughs> well. Uh, it's still nighttime. I think I'm going to, number one, I'm going to, Keep the bow out. I think we're going back to the trapper's cabin. Oh boy, that spooked me. Why? Why is that so spooky? When it just starts happening. <laughs> Who did that? Yex? <laughs> Yeah. The purr is a good one. I think we'll go back to the trapper's cabin. I'll, when Once we get down this area and onto the ground, uh, we'll run as much as we can. And when we get there, we'll sleep for an hour. How did I mess this up? <laughs> Where'd the trail go? Yeah, let's put that away. We're not... We're not those kind of people. Alright, let's run. Um... I'm sure I can get there this way, but I'm actually going to go this way because I know this way. I'm not lost. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, it's pretty straightforward coming down that hill, isn't it? <laughs> How did I end up with boulders in front of me? Where did they come from? Do they only come out at night? Oh, shit. Sorry for those that don't like that type of language. <laughs> wow. All right. I dare anybody to see if they can both drop a lure and pull out their gun at the same time. I dare anyone. That was um, unbelievable. And I hit him. I think <laughs> I'm going to pretend I hit him. Hey, Darth. You came in at the right time. I just had my underwear soiled by a wolf. <laughs> I did hit him. Okay, that's I, w I went three for three. I, I dropped bait or a lure, whatever you want to call that. 
I pulled my weapon with no hesitation in there at all. It, mostly it's because I hit both buttons at the same time. And I obviously hit the number three button a little bit quicker than the two. <laughs> but man, that worked out nice. That worked out real nice. I'm mildly fond of myself right now. I do apologize. I don't tend to uh, swear in my streams. But in situations like that, the real me might come out. <laughs> you, you clipped that one, Copper? Nice. Hey, Cherry Loam. You're traumatized by that swear. <laughs> Nobody knows. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Some people know. Some of you have heard me on voice chat on Discord. And the filth that just comes out my mouth. How hard I try to be clean in this. Nice, copper. Nice. Alright, I... Eh. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Once, uh... Once I get a little bit more of our stamina back. Eh, I can't wait. You know me, I'm not patient enough to wait. Probably some good feathers right back there, but I'll never know. Trying to read and walk here. <laughs> you don't understand how I can be clean. You wouldn't be able to even if you tried. I'm surprised at times. I'm surprised. Honestly, I am. Cursing wolves at by moonlight. <laughs> searching day, searching shelters by daylight. Cursing wolves by moonlight. Yeah, that's right. We're called twins for a few reasons. Our use of words is probably amongst them. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes Murd's got a mouth on him, too. It's fun! Everybody who doesn't like cursing, why? Why? It's fun. It just feels good. Alright, where's my bed? Um, I'm just gonna do that, I don't care. The only time you're a bit more clean is when your mom comes into chat. Oh, nice. Let's go. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Six. Let's take six this time. What did we have last time? We took like four and it wasn't enough. Um, okay, I think at this point, even if that deer we were to find its location, it's most likely despawned at this point. Man, I can't go that way. That way it's like, there's nothing there. Gotta go back this way. You sound like you Sam and you Sam when you fall downstairs when you get upset. I totally misread that. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm going to leave it at that because I'll probably just screw it up again. 
every once in a while I'll read off like a sentence or two and you'll think like wow he actually he's a good vocal reader but I'm I'm so so bad at it I worked with a guy who could like literally be a narrator Anytime he had to read like safety uh, bulletins at work, we're always like, get Jeff to do it. Because <laughs> he'll turn it into a story and sound like a professional. And then you get one of the other of us to do it. And it's like, you look at us like, do you even know how to talk? I know, right? Where's the weight gain? Where is the weight gain? What game has that? Oh, Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2. You can you can eat lots and make your character fat. Noticeably chubby. That's hilarious cuz that's how it should be. We just downed a whole deer. Couple, like yeah, I think in yesterday's stream we downed a whole deer in one game day basically and somehow we didn't gain any weight project zomboids like that yeah weight gain has to be a thing because just imagine if weight gain was a thing in the long dark Maybe people would run more often because you'd have to run to work that off. Is that birch bark? Oh no, it's not. It's a monument. We don't take double sticks. We leave them because it's where a bunny gave his life so we can keep ours. Uh, should we go this way? What the hell? Let's go this way. We'll stop off in the uh, the cabin. We'll warm up. And maybe I guess we'll go up to the broken lookout. You're always super skinny because you forget to give your character food in Red Dead 2. I miss playing that game. I should replay the story. Although I can't because it's on PlayStation. I do have the PC version. I could probably do that. That would be pretty much my favorite game. I if you drop any of this gear. I'm still holding on to the original Tomb Raider as as my all time favorite. Let's do that. Just because at the time, like the 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 graphics we were used to in games and how games work. It was such a big shift when that game came out. But number two would be Red Dead 2. Yeah, I love the original Tomb Raiders. I don't like the new ones. It's too much shooting people and this and that. I like the original where it was more about puzzles and exploring and, you know, you might have to shoot a wolf or a bear, but... You didn't typically be shooting other people. You just finished the story mode on the long dark. Now you have to wait for chapter five. 
Welcome to the club. <laughs> Did I say I hate being old? Because I really do. My life goal is to live long enough to see Chapter 5 and play through it. That's what I've set my life goal at. I want to live long enough to be able to do that. This pack is getting kind of heavy. And I don't know if I'm optimistic about that or not. <laughs> you gave up on story because you got a corrupted file and don't want to start over. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I've played story several times. The thing I like about story mode, I mean, number one, I mean, it's easier, right? Like, even when you play on Harden, it's really not that difficult compared to actual survival mode. Um... It's relaxing. If your story corrupted, you use cheats. I would just restart. I, I like that. I mean, I, I know that there's a lot of people that really actually don't care for the story mode in this game. I like it. I've always liked it. I don't like a lot of it. Like, I don't want to play it for months on end. But I'll give it a go through once a year. And have a lot of fun doing it. I like the tasks, right? And that's, I like survival now a lot more than I used to. Because there is, with the tales, there's tasks and it's in a way for me it's relaxing because i, I kind of I, I like having the game say hey here's something you can go do rather than me twiddling my thumbs thinking oh, i wonder what i can do now You felt like uh, episode four was quite difficult on Harden, but the rest was pretty easy. I, well, you're a cash. Oh, yeah. duh. I know where you are. Oh, you're not a box. <laughs> you're a box. I don't remember. I have a terrible memory. So I don't remember um, what the difficulty of each of them was. I do think my favorite episode is the one where you gotta uh, you're dealing with Father Thomas and transporting the uh, needs this the crash site victims. I liked that one. Uh, I'm gonna grab these rose hips and I'm gonna make a fire I'm gonna do that oh let's go back in there 14 you think I'll get a fire oh did I grab any sticks I did okay I think I'll get a fire in this I guess I can't put down a pot oh no I could have had a mag lens fire but then it would have taken like two years
All right. Let's go with the reclaimed wood and a piece of coal. And there we go. I'll just take the whole thing. Can I hit my air? Let's just do that. Um, actually, let's heat up a rose hip. Did I miss a stretch? I did, I did, I did. The whole stream flies. I'm not taking the rope here. I'm taking, you know why? Because I never take that. I'm taking this rope. So if we need it in ravine, we have it. Uh, let's lower our weight by eating. Do that. Hopefully we don't die. Oh, I got a steer. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Thanks, Merd. You want epic antler weapons? <laughs> antler knives for the win. It's, it's kind of funny that they don't have that. Where... I mean, I don't play full-blown interloper, so maybe it's not my place to say anything about it, but... Maybe in full-blown interloper and, and above, where you have to craft your tools, maybe you should need an antler. Although, how do you get it? I guess, well, I don't know. I don't know, I don't care. I ain't never gonna play that anyway. Makes for better handles than wood, honestly. Yeah, the antlers. I, I watched a bunch of knife making videos and a lot of them use antler for a handle. I'm weird though, right? Because I, for some reason, that's not what I want. That's oh yeah, that'll work. Come on, boy. Oh boy, I missed. Oh, I didn't miss. It's in him. I didn't miss. It's in him. I can see it. I was. I was thinking immediately, like, wow, that struggle was actually pretty quick. Right. Um, just casually continue. And now, guess what we don't have? We don't have any more arrows. See, took it. It's out there. That's blood. What 
What's the temperature? Plus one. Yeah, that's the arrow number two. Yeah, I did release a little bit too, too late. I was actually, before I saw him running away with it, uh, I was actually thinking that I released so late that I didn't even technically get a shot off. I don't even know, was that other arrow in this region? I forget. Uh, well, I guess we gotta go that way. Who knows where that wolf could be at this point. Um, we don't, I don't think we need to reload. Remind me for the hundredth time, please. You can craft arrows at some point, right? Yes. You need arrowheads, arrow shafts, and feathers. And we don't have any arrowheads. So we either have to grab some scrap metal and go to a forge. Uh, I believe we need the heavy hammer, though. Or... We have to do what I said I wanted to do and get ourselves to Pleasant Valley. Is that a wolf? No, oh, that's a deer. Get ourselves to Pleasant Valley so we can get the uh, memento bow, which will give us, I believe you get three arrows out of it. Should be allowed to make arrows from antler bone. Well, you can make fire-hardened arrows, but um, I personally never did it, and I don't remember what other people were saying about it, but I remember Hinterland was saying, like, you could try using them on a wolf, it might work, it might not. I think it would give it a chance to scare it off, but anything bigger, it's just, it's not going to do anything. Primarily for ptarmigan and rabbits. And those ones you just need some sticks and some feathers. And a fire. Yeah, right there. You need a hammer or the Pleasant Valley Cache and Coastal Highway Beachcombing. I think we're a little bit off from uh, Coastal Highway, though. You watch someone use over a hundred fire hardened arrows on wolves and bears. Well, they, they said right on the release, like, you can try using it on a wolf. It might work, it might not, but I think what they meant is, like, it might scare it away. Really? Yeah, let's see, run off with... Uh, I don't know if I want to. 
You know what? I don't want to. Because if I get attacked, I'm in big trouble. I'm not sure I can carry much more. You really like that one of the few things you can do while walking is switch arrow types. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they don't seem to be able to multitask very much in this game. But who am I to say anything, right? Because I can't multitask either. Multitasking is a myth anyways in real life. Scientifically, they said your brain cannot. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Hello. Your brain cannot actually be thinking about two different things at the exact same time. Something along those lines is what they said. So they said actual multitasking that doesn't actually exist. I would like to go into the toilets. I don't know why, but they're just a structure that we can't go into. I see the blue flare. Uh, oh, we got a Hummer up here. My buddy worked at the airport, he said whenever they get a dead body, they called him a Hummer. <laughs> I don't know why. Like that. Alright, nothing else? He always imagined books in the porter bodies. No, newspapers. You just get some tinder. <laughs> um, well, warming up. What's the time? It's almost night time. just go to the dam. I'll drop the hide and the guts in the dam. This will come in handy. Oh, you're better. Seven. Am I wrong? I don't know what I'm wrong. I, there, that, that's what it should look like. That's why I always screw up. Because that looks like I'm wearing something. Now I'm not. I thought, wow, I have like an extra pair. What am I doing? I'm trying to put my pants on. I think I can use this. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, you're obviously no good. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Oh, bugger. Okay, that's the one. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm having a moment, people. Bear with me. Alright, let's just move you to the door. Um, let's eat this piece. <laughs> I gotta double check. Am I still wearing my stuff? I am. Okay, good. We look, you know what? We look pretty cool. We got leather shoes. We got leather gloves. We got leather. We're just like all leather. 
we're not much different than the animals that we're hunting sometimes. Um, carry this load for much longer. Uh, you can drink this and you can shush. AX, thanks for the lurk. Have a great day and good to see you again. You know that was dumb, right? Like being that close to a wolf and thinking, hey, I should pick up this stick. Yeah, don't do that. Don't be an idiot like me. Because that wolf could easily have killed us and ended this run. Hinterland needs to add leather pants. You got deerskin pants, that's leather. Ain't it? Man, I don't want to deal with wolves because seriously. There we go, double tap. Pow pow. I know I said I don't want to do the double shots anymore to save some of the ammo, but with our condition at about half, I can't take the chance. Sometimes it looks like the wolf is going to run right past you, and sometimes they don't. So... I'll give up an extra bullet to be sure that I'm going to actually keep my run going. No, deer isn't leather. Leather is from cows. Though apparently a moose satchel is part cow. <laughs> Isn't it all basically leather? Animal skins. Oh, have you even seen that, like, in real life? Have you seen, like, the tanning process? Yeah, you don't want to know what they use. Trust me, it's worse than you think. If you don't know. favorite rail car that I got attacked whilst inside the car whilst trying to figure out how to open and close the door that was a moment one time uh, we can't run Nothing there. See? Right there. I should have to go there, not not all the way to there. Oh, lucky day. Oh, look what we found. Or dual wielding dual wielding knives. I can't say that. What is the tanning process? You wanna know? I'm not saying it just because one person wants to know. Because there's probably way more people that would prefer to not know. <laughs> OG wants to know. Well... One day when you're over on YouTube looking at my videos over there, you can check out the tanning process of hides. 
I found out from uh, Mountain Men, that television show, the faux reality show. And I was kind of, eh. Yeah, and Merge Right, once you know, you, you can't unknow. Uh, Cherry, it involves something. <laughs> Let's just say that way. We have seven cattails. <laughs> Till will be number three on who wants to know. No, I can't do it. I don't have enough people in my chat to justify horrifying other people. Chill is tan tides. You just haven't made leather. Well, here's the thing. I don't know, like, if they do this in real life. Well, I, you know, like in the real world. Or maybe it's just like a bush practice. Oh, no. No, 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 this is not good. Okay, that worked. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's just a bush tactic. Or if they do this in, like, you know, major tanneries. But I think it's just something that the masses prefer not to know. <laughs> OG knows the process. It was just giving Cherry the numbers they need to hear it. <laughs> Same with chill. Uh, oh, I have two pieces. Okay. So is this industrial? I, I would assume it's bush tanning. I don't think like if you were in an industrial tanner, maybe they still do though. I don't know. But there is something that they need to wipe on it. And it's it's one of those things that makes you wonder, like, how did they come up with that? Like, was the person who originally came up with this process, was he, like, some psycho? Or what? Hello? <laughs> the word wipe doesn't make you feel good. Wipe, spread, um, coat. Well, we got two squigglies. Slather. <laughs> Yeah, that would work too. We got mushrooms over there. Let's go pick the mushrooms. Oh, the weather is a little bit colder. Is it the same as how they used to make dyes for clothing or was it paint pants? 
paints or both. I don't remember. I just remember it was for tanning hides. Copper knows that tanning is very smelly and very toxic. Um, I'm not going to take the guts. I do have guts already. Plenty of them. And... Let's do that. Got any feathers? More mushrooms. All right. I harvested that deer. Get your guesses in for how many times this run. I'm going to be standing way over there, looking in this direction, wondering if I harvested this deer. We'll be out of distance, out of view from it, so I won't know. I'm like, should we go over there? I'm saying six. A video title you think gave it away, but well, that's a waste of good food if it's true. If it's the same stuff as that we're thinking about, that's disgusting. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's what it would be. Okay, I won't tell you what then. Interesting, isn't it, Copper? Well, the thing is, if you're if you're if you're taking an animal's life, the best thing you can ever do is use the entire animal, right? So, I mean, I guess there's that, right? <laughs> All right, Cherry. I like those. <laughs> I don't want to not eat those ever again. Is that a dinosaur? Right there. Is that Nessie? Yeah. That is chill. I was trying to be nice. Now everybody wants to say it. Oh, that is how you've tanned hides, Shell. Oh, wow. Actually, let me add on you <laughs> to that. What's the time? It's almost nighttime. You didn't know there was other ways to do it. I never knew. Now, let me, let's go back. And just ask the question. New cave is opened up in Melton. Who's to blame for this? Is it Murd? Or is it me? Oh, I missed the fence. <laughs> I missed the gate. Nifo, try new foods. No! No, I would never eat that. No, thank you. You can't get me to eat a mushroom, let alone, do you think I'm going to eat that? Ew. Okay. <laughs> 
right, no more talk about this. Let's just move on. If Coach was here, he would have shut us down a long time ago. <laughs> you give me fifty dollars. Maybe if you added million in between the fifty and dollars. We're in the dam. Here we go. I can barely walk with this. Uh, yeah, let's just drop them. Ah, this isn't where I drop. Oh. Let's drop it here. All right. Remember, I'm not doing a full search of the dam right now. I might do a partial search, but with this lantern, I mean, I do have torches, but they're not all big ones. They're not all good. I don't even know, you know, I might go down to the fire. After we just, we're going to loot this room. Uh, yeah, because like, I don't want to burn through all this oil. I need this oil to get us through. Cave. All right, these can all stay here. If we can get to the fire barrel. Hey, army, welcome in. Tier three sub. Thank you, army. Army just resubbed at tier three. Unbelievable. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to go much farther than the fire pit. I think I want to stay and we'll probably, I mean, we can go to bed right away. Um, I'll cook up that deer meat as we go to bed. This is a safe area. Free of sparks. Alright, uh... Alright. 7% torch is not gonna light a fire, I don't think. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get you on there. What's our water like? 192. Can we get another leader? Okay, they won't let us. Okay. Let's do this. There we go. Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. There we go. Put you out. Get one of those on so I don't have to worry about it. And how long? 37, so I believe... Uh, 27. Oh, boy. Let's hold off on that. Yeah. Uh, let's eat you. 
Let's eat the sardines. And this. And now we can leave. You. 23 minutes. What is half? Why is it? Oh. Okay. 14. I think I'm having a moment again. It would take you six. Oh, that's eight. Okay. Let's do that. And we can do that. That's like 54 minutes. That'll be okay. Oh, I need to drink you for sure. Um, I was gonna, I should actually, smart guy should, while well, he has a fire going, do up some birch bark, but I'm not going to, because I don't want to be smart. Alright, it's morning and we got most of our condition back again. I'm gonna pick you up. I should have actually looked before I picked it up because it's not, we're not fully uh, rested. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. That's a good one. We're gonna leave that one because we also have a pot. So let's leave that one. Um, let's use these torches. Come on. <laughs> they all are talking about sardines now. I have never eaten sardines. I will not eat them. I'm not a big fish person. Although, I guess if I, uh, if I could just put it in my mouth and swallow it without chewing it, <laughs> would that count? Hey, we got a broken arrow. Funny, because it looks like a fire-hardened arrow. We got another broken arrow. Hey! Take it. 49. Half full. All right, are you going to have? Nope. Oh, I forgot the lockers upstairs. Dang it. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Okay, well. We'll go through here. Uh, we'll get the mementos, the the MREs. We'll get those on our when we come back. Um, let's just do that. Mostly because we have. Look at the meat. We have a bunch. Oh, I don't need to eat. Oh, oh. Well, guess where we're going. We're taking a shortcut to the MREs. The 
this is not fair. I didn't hear any sound. Don't you normally hear the blizzard when you're right by the door? Can't even run, we're that heavy. <laughs> I was waiting for that this time. I think I finally flew it into it. Hey, what if the Vaughn's rifle was up here? It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my baby. Put you right there. Ah, you don't work that way. Let's do that. Eighty percent. And another pot. We found more pot. Are you hearing, are you noticing there's a delay from when I click to when the sound actually happens there? It almost makes it feel like uh, it's softer. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how else to say it, it's just... Got nothing in there. Go back. Where are ya? I didn't forget about ya. Seventy percent. Thirty-eight. Forty-six. Hmm. So you know what? I'm gonna stay here. Did I put that away? Put it away, please. I'm gonna stay here. Um, well, let's break you down. Just because here I can actually hear outside. And we can break you down so we don't have to carry you. And we get the fuel out of you. Now we have 17 arrow shafts and we now have two of few arrowheads and we have more than enough. Um, if we can get to a workbench, these aren't workbenches are they now? Uh, let's actually fill that before we carry on. And there should be a red tool. Oh, it's a blue one. Why can't it be red? That would be like way cooler. Yeah, I'm getting a I'm getting a slight delay on the sounds. I don't know if you guys are Let's go and look. 
go find ourselves a workbench. Because we can make a couple of arrows. This is exactly why I made all those arrow shafts. And took all the feathers. Is there anything in here? And did that blizzard actually die? Because I know you get in this area and you're getting farther and further away. But I think that sound started to go away before we got to the area where normally it would. Well, may as well loot this area. Got the flare that's always there. There's our workbench. Can I have one more bandit? you it's gonna be dark but uh, let's eat and drink and we will do this two hours there is a delay twitch added last update, so gamers, i.e. Can't read that word. <laughs> Can't watch. Oh, enemy teams in real time. Oh, interesting. I don't know that this is it, is the delay though. Cause this is like literally like one second. And it wasn't doing it until about, uh, well, actually, until we got into that room when we came in. Well, we may as well search the rest of this. Or miss. <laughs> I swear we'll get to Pleasant Valley one day. What day that'll actually be, who knows. I found another knife, did I not? I should probably drop one. I'm probably gonna find another one too. Look at that. Thank you. 79. Sometimes there's a scrap metal piece down here. Or am I just thinking of like the really old days? Oh, maybe not. Oh, there you go. That's way better than a piece of scrap. search these ones uh, I'm gonna drop them right here because they are more visible and 
I have 20 and I have 50. Hmm. I'm going to drop you. Uh, I'm going to take you. We're going to try this again. We're going to eat again. Oh, um, I'm not taking that. Three. Yeah, I'll take one because who knows, right? Maybe I don't find one out there. Do that. We'll do that. And we will go. It's getting too heavy to carry. Now it's nice out. Bunny just bit the dust. I got my baby. I'm going to keep this out because we have one squiggly. Yeah, let's just keep going the proper way. Is it the best one? It's probably not. It just, it, it fires the quickest. It's the lightest and it reloads the quickest, but it degrades the quickest as well. But I, I just like it. It's entirely possible that this rifle actually could be the, the worst of the rifle variants. Oh, that was so weird with the delay on the sound. This is going to mess me up so much. <laughs> there we go. I got it. I picked up the other one, right? I don't even remember. Yeah, I did. And what do we have? We have 27 cattails. Well, you know what? There you go, coach. We never go over here. So since we know the wolf isn't here, let's just go grab these cattails. Get them out of the way. Um, oh, we might have to pick a few cattails. We don't have any more tinder. And I guess we'll take those rose hips as well. Uh, let's go get these. I gotta craft them all up. I don't even know how many I have. Probably a lot. Rescue the cattails. Yes. Don't leave them stranded over here. Alright, let's go. Are we gonna even make it there? It's, all, it's just a little bit past midday. Should be okay. Uh, I guess worst case scenario, we just 
stay at the uh, Signal Hill. I mean, why why go all the way to the farmhouse just to come all, all the way back and go all the way around to get to that car that has the note? So maybe Signal Hill will be our destination. <laughs> you purring for Darth? I'd make him purr on his own. Wait, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> make him do his own damn purring. No charitable purrs in my stream, please. <laughs> Ooh, look at them. Nah, we'll leave those. I know, right? And I didn't even... It was like that split second after I said it, like, wait a second. <laughs> they purred for the walking. Yeah, the copper loves the walking, right? I'm just bugging you. You can make anyone purr. The walking is soothing and it's not the same as when you play it. Oh, really? I guess it's because, yeah, I guess when you're playing it, you're, you're worried about other things, right? I should grab some of these. Uh, I should remember. Oh, I didn't even make any. All right, that's nine. We need these three and that's our 12. Uh, we'll stop in the cave, I guess, and warm up. Whilst we make some bandages. What is that on the floor? That chips? Nope. It's better than chips. Well, this stuff will come we got in. that. Oh, that's still edible. Let's get right up in here. This is an interesting cave, eh? Like, it's its own shape. Um... Old man's beard, we need two of these. And that's, I'm not gonna go any further with that. Uh, I was thinking, we have 88 of you. 28 sticks, you know what's about to happen. You can predict. Put dinosaurs in this game. Like in Tomb Raider, we had the... What was that, Tomb Raider 2? Was that number 2 or number 3? You had the big T-Rex. Alright. We're walking a little slow. We might even not even make it to Signal Hill. We might actually end up sleeping at the end of the transition. Y'all knew this was bound to happen. Had to. Oh, don't hit me with this wind. Come on, what is it? Feels like minus 12 on the wind. I do not subscribe to the birds are dinosaurs theory. I don't get how an event can wipe out all the animals, but somehow, at the same time, those animals turn into a different animal. 
I don't get it. I don't buy it. They can have similarities, that so doesn't make them the same. And yes, I'm going against what actual professional archaeologists are saying. I don't care. I'm allowed to. It didn't wipe out all the animals, it wiped out most. It wiped out enough of them, of the big dinosaurs, that they didn't survive. My favorite is that I think it's the chicken that they say the 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 closest living relative to a T-Rex is a chicken. <laughs> but yeah, right it is. Why would it miraculously be a bird that we all are familiar with? Why wouldn't it be some like weird bird on some strange island that nobody's ever heard of? But but it's a chicken of all things. To me, that would be failed evolution if a T-Rex turned into a little chicken. Maybe the uh, the birds come from the small dinosaurs. That's a, that's possible. Like the little compies, I could see that turning into like a, some kind of like little bird. But I don't believe that the giant dinosaurs are flying above us. Y'all can believe whatever you want. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> the T-Rex died because his arms were too small to pick cattails. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah, I don't think Signal Hill's going to happen. None of you enjoy the walking? I don't. Not this walking, anyway. I mean, to me, this is just boring. Yeah, Jurassic Park made up the Velociraptor. It's they said uh, the Velociraptor in Jurassic Park is most likely actually a Utah Raptor, because apparently they were bigger. But yeah, Velociraptors weren't actually as big as they were in Jurassic Park. They were small, smaller. Ooh, look what I see, Darth. Do you see what I see? And you? Should we get one first or two first? Let's get one first. Yeah, Velociraptor has a good ring to it, right? It's a it, it better at bringing the fear than like oh no there's a Utah Raptor. And it doesn't roll off the tongue as as easily. There's supposed to be a good Jurassic Park movie coming. It's in the works. Oh no, it's Utah. <laughs> Yes, another one. And hopefully they do good this time. Because they've progressively gotten bad. Like, worse and worse and worse. 
over the years. What I want is a full-on Jurassic Park movie that is more close to reality. It's not catered for youngsters. Although I wouldn't say it's exactly, I mean, you can easily watch the entire Jurassic Park, Jurassic World as an adult and enjoy it. But I do think they they toned it down f so that kids can watch. And they just need to reckon it. Okay, this is a habit. We're going to go in here. And one thing that we do is we do this. So that in the future we know we've gone this way. This is a dead end. There's always supposed to be a good Jurassic Park movie, but it never does. I know. Alright, we got one piece of coal and we got a flare. I liked the first one. But I mean, that goes the same with almost every movie. It's the first one's usually the one, right? But... That movie has so much potential to be like the ultimate horror movie. There could be so much coolness in that. <laughs> Children ruin everything. Not really. In the old days, we had some good stuff that had kids in it. Or that, that were watchable by kids. I didn't mind. The only ones I didn't like were, I think, in Jurassic Park 3. The kid with all the hair. He annoyed me. If it was, or was it Jurassic World? Yeah, it was Jurassic World. Let's go this way. I didn't like the kids in the first one. I also didn't really like most of the characters in any of them. Any of the Jurassic Worlds. Yeah, the, the book is so much better. I, I, I always hear people saying that about other stuff. Hey, we got a bedroll that we don't need. Um, but I was listening to the audiobook for Jurassic Park and I'm like, wow. Oh, you're actually pretty good. I'm just going to move it. I'm not actually going to be carrying it. In fact, let's do that and let's do this. Oh, dang it. Gotta do that. Well, I, like, I liked Lex and Tim in the in the first movie. Uh, that was great. Ian Malcolm's my favorite character. How can he... Uh, he's probably everybody's favorite character. Because he's like the coolest character. And Jeff Goldblum is like one of the coolest people on the planet. Maybe they should let Ryan Reynolds direct one. I don't know what that means. Why is he a director as well? Now, should we just sleep here? I think we should just sleep here. There we go. Um, all right. Yeah, we got to sleep here because we're too heavy. It's going to take us a long time. I'm going to eat this. I 
can relate to Sam Neill's character, Dr. Grant. I can totally relate. Where's my fire pit? There it is. Where's my... There it is. Um, yeah, I guess let's, uh, let's end this here. So, for those of you on YouTube, I thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow.